6.40 in the morning, Wednesday morning. Sorry, I haven't been here in a while. I swear it's not for a lack of trying. But I'm here now, and what a way to begin today. You ain't even gonna believe what we're getting ready to go look at. Okay, never mind, change of plans. Well, I just tried to go in the unit and it's occupied. Uh, didn't think that was gonna be the case, but probably should have, probably should have known that it was gonna be occupied, I guess. All right, so you're probably wondering, Joe, what the hell is going on? Joe, where have you been at? What the hell? You just pop up all of a sudden and you're back. And, well, just know in my absence, I'm never really gone. I'm just busy as hell and not feeling uh, much of anything. I, I went through a nice little depressive spell. Coming out of that depressive spell, filmed a little bit, didn't do nothing with those videos, yada, yada, same old song and dance. What I wanted to go share with you right there was a great way to begin this video. And it may look a little familiar or maybe it, it should if it did look a little familiar. So where I was, I'm leaving from right now is that big drywall job that we did uh, in the construction unit that we did, the $2,500 uh, drywall job. And folks, you will never believe it. We gotta open all that shit back up again, supposedly. And the reason for it is not nothing to do with the work that we did. The work that we did was flawless. You guys saw it, we cleaned up that unit. That unit was pristine. We painted that unit. Everything was the way that it needed to be. But allegedly, <laughs> whatever the hell was going on with leaks or leaks, is still happening. The shit is still leaking and they don't know where it's leaking from. And now it's gotta all be opened up again to find where it's leaking from. So whatever they did in an effort to bust open those walls and try to fix those leaks, they didn't do that because the leak or leaks is still there. So I went over there first thing this morning to try to put eyes on it because what the main question is for this is are we gonna charge again the same $2,500 that we charged the first time? And that's why I wanted to go over there first thing to put eyes on it. It hasn't been opened up yet. Maybe we can open up smaller sections, square sections, make it not as much work as what initially took place the first time when they just destroyed that place. But the problem is, is I walked into an occupied unit. I should have assumed that somebody would be living in that unit and I didn't assume. And for that, I almost committed a home invasion at 6.40 this morning. So anyways, my wife is gonna go put eyes on it at eight o'clock this morning. She's gonna take pictures of it. And if the question is, are we gonna charge that same $2,500? Well, folks, if it's an occupied unit, you better bet that we are. And if we're gonna be the ones opening it up, everything cost, opening it, closing it, finishing it, and it's occupied, you saw the mess that we made the first time, and that was in an empty unit. So I just can't believe that all that beautiful work that we did seems to be all for nothing. And we get to go do it all over again. Practice is all it is. So anyways, hey, like I said, Wednesday morning as I begin this, I'm feeling a little more chipper. Um, what to share with you guys? We've been busy. We've been doing a lot of painting, a lot of color changes. 
a lot of big unit color changes. Price has been increasing on these big unit color changes. Not playing with prices anymore. Matter of fact, this morning we've got uh, a two-story unit, which is the, the second two-story color change unit that we've done in less than a week. And we're gonna finish that up today. Yesterday, we didn't even get started on that unit until, what time did we get started? About one o'clock in the afternoon, we didn't get started on that unit. My guys worked on that till about six last night. They got the whole unit sprayed. The hardest possible unit that we could be doing where it's a two-story color change, 20-foot freaking ceilings, and the carpet is stained. Now, we did one of these two-story units, uh, like I said, less than a week ago and the carpet was going, that made it a hell of a lot easier. But when the carpet's staying, obviously we can't move as fast as we would like to move. Whereas carpet's going, we can spray trim. Anytime the carpet's going, we can spray trim. That knocks our trim time down drastically, but not with this latest unit that we have. I've also dropped one property as of right this second. I've gotten a schedule for September where my schedule is looking pretty chaotic. Death wobble in my truck has gotten substantially worse. I'm gonna start driving the van again very soon so that I can get my truck into the shop, get my front end alignment taken care of that needs to be done. Forgive me, I know I'm all over the place. I'm trying to bring you guys up to speed as quickly as I, as I can. I'm trying not to hate this business. I know I've mentioned it and complained about it uh, countless times. I'm trying to not complain about it. Be grateful for the fact that I at least have this business. I'm able to do this work. But one thing's for certain, I am certainly missing videos. Oh God, am I missing doing videos and just the enjoyment that I got from doing that. You don't realize what you got till it's gone and man, I realize. So what else have we been doing? We've painted a clubhouse, painted a ton of units. We've got another deck job that I've got to go look at at some point today. We're busy, so that's a good thing. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys to death just talking. We got a lot to try to get done today, a lot to try to do, a lot of work to try to put on the schedule. As of right this second for today, all we have is finish up a clubhouse, which shouldn't take too long at all. We're just waiting on paint for that. Finish up that two-story monster unit, which all we should have left on that really is just trim and touch up. Another unit at another property. And I'm trying to put on a couple of units that we've got for later in the week. So, good morning to you guys. Sorry I've been MIA. It's not for a lack of not wanting to be here. But... I figured I needed to get over my little depressive spell uh, one way or another before I come back on here and all it, all it seems like I'm doing is complaining. I, I don't want to complain. This is not Joe complains about stuff, even though sometimes it probably seems like that. I almost thought, oh, I almost thought about creating a whole nother YouTube channel called Joe Complains About Stuff because that's what it was seeming like for a while. All right. Go check a couple of units, get this day ready to rock and roll, and see what's in store for us. Good morning to you guys. Wednesday, let's make a video. So up in a unit, I was talking about this unit earlier this morning. This is the big unit that we're working on, uh, one of the big two-story units. And you can see that we still have trim to do, but the unit for the most part is painted. We've missed a little spot up there, no big deal. We'll touch that up. And we're going through right now, starting to hit trim, starting to touch up some things that got missed. We didn't start on this unit until one o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. And the craziest thing, uh, one, that this unit got as far as it did, the entire unit is sprayed, minus a little bit of touch up, minus the trim, and minus just very little stuff that needs to be painted i mean most everything in here is painted shout out to the team they did awesome but we came in here this morning and we got a bit of a mystery going on we're missing a, a lot of our supplies are gone now the spray machine is still in here but we're missing an 18 inch roller pan an 18 inch roller we're missing all of our brushes we're missing 
Wasn't my drill in here? My drill is missing. A whole stack of brand new drop cloths is missing. And <laughs> yeah, somebody stole from us. Cause nobody else knew where these guys were at working on this unit yesterday. This doesn't make any sense at all. And now I really get to thinking, if nobody else knew that we were in here working, I wonder if somebody saw these guys in here working yesterday, maybe another painter. Maybe another painter came through. If they came through to steal drop cloths and 18 inch roller setup, it doesn't make any sense. All of this stuff is missing. We have searched high and low in this massive unit and none of this stuff is here. This was the one spot that I didn't check. How? I just, hey, Joe. I just bought all of that shit yesterday. All of that stuff I just bought yesterday. My drill is gone. And I guess it was all left right in this area. Oh, all left on the counter. And now it's all gone. And how is this even possible? Why would somebody take drop cloths, a roller tray, paint brushes, and leave the damn spray machine. That's a good point. Yo, we got stolen from. This is the first time that this has happened. And it, it just doesn't make any sense. leaving from Home Depot, not Lowe's. And $238 later, I've replaced brushes, roller pole, roller tray, roller arms, roller naps, spray shields. And the one thing that I didn't get to replace was the $150 in drop cloths that was stolen from us as well. This is the craziest damn thing. I, I, I can't even understand this. I'm baffled by this, that somebody would actually go into a unit that we were working on, steal a bunch of brand new drop cloths, steal spray shields, steal 18 inch roller setups, naps, brushes, and not take the spray machine. Now, a couple of things probably come to mind that I wanna go ahead and address real quick. Joe, it was probably one of the guys that you got working for you who did it. I don't, I can't go for that at all. I trust these guys. These guys have no reason to steal this shit. I mean, I trust them. I don't think it was them at all. What I do think is it was potentially a, competiti a, 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 a competitor painter who we have potentially taken some work from. I think it was done in an effort to sabotage us. Somebody might have drove by yesterday and seen that we were working in a particular area and got lucky and found this unit. This unit is on a third floor. I mean, they had to go up three flights of stairs in an effort to take this shit. And the only person who would take this shit is either one, Somebody who thinks they can go sell this stuff. I'm going to look on Facebook Marketplace and see if I can find any of this stuff. To another painter who could use this. Drop cloths are not cheap. Like I said, $150 worth of drop cloths is what I'm missing amongst $230 worth of brushes and other supplies. Uh, that was a hit that I wasn't really expecting and wanting to take today. So, it is what it is. It's the first time I've ever had anything stolen from me out of a unit. And thankfully, thank God, they didn't take the spray machine. Took everything else. Was it a drug addict? Somebody looking for some easy money, something that they could sell? Or was it a competing 
painter. And that's the scenario that sounds most plausible to me this morning. Damn. I don't film videos for a little while, or at least what I do film, I don't have enough to make a video out of. And this morning starts off just bam, bam, bam. Uh, we're supposed to go look at the construction site unit that we did the drywall repair work in. And we can't go in there because it's occupied. My wife was supposed to go look at that this morning, but there was a scheduling conflict with who she was supposed to meet in there. So she's gonna have to reschedule checking that out. And then we get over to the unit that we were working on, a unit that we got so far in yesterday, and there's a bunch of shit that's stolen out of it. Somebody stole from us and stole the most random shit. My drill is also stolen as well. Haven't I mentioned that before in the past, like a long time ago, maybe doing flip houses or something like my drill, where's my drill? My drill is missing. Shit. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Now, I would talk with maintenance over at this property and ask, you know, I hate to ask, but did you guys steal our shit? Did you take it? Did you need it? No, 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 we don't. That's what the maintenance supervisor told me was, no, I don't know anything. I would talk with another maintenance guy over at the property and he would tell me that the property actually got broke into last night. Somebody broke into the clubhouse at the property. So obviously there's some funny shit going on at this place. You know, you think, okay, well, when we're done working for the day, we need to take everything out of the unit. Never in a million years would I imagine somebody would go in there and steal drop cloths. The drill, I can understand that. Thankfully, I've got multiple drills. What a bunch of bullshit. All right, well, I've got these brushes that I'm taking back to the guys so that they have brushes to paint with because right now they're working with a one-inch brush, uh, a Bob Ross paint brush, and uh, a freaking another beat-up brush. So bring them back some brushes, bring them back some materials that they're gonna need. I need to try to get a couple of other units squared away. I've got one other painter getting ready to go to one other unit and I'm still waiting to hear from two other painters who I haven't heard from. So God, I hope today is not a bad day. It's already starting off a little bit rocky. I said I wasn't gonna make this Joe complains about stuff, but rightfully so, I've got some things to be bitching about first thing this morning. Hey, we filming video. Hey family, how are you? It's been a long time. Don't, don't, how was it? It's been a long time no filming. No filming, no see. No, oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm here again. I feel like the team right here, man. Yeah, man, you're up there. You're, you're way up there. Yeah. Hey Eli, everybody, somebody stole our stuff. Oh yeah, man, that motherfucker sucks. Yeah, they steal all the fucking drug clothes, rolls, and just left this prize. Hey, guess what? I got a story to tell you. Do you remember when we did all that drywall work? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at, at the one unit? Mm-hmm. We got to go do it again. Oh, sure. For real, what? They got a leak. Oh, my God. They, broke, they, they opened the ceiling, all the ceiling, and trying to find the leak in here? Not yet. We got to go do that. Oh, my God. And guess what? Somebody living in there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we have to remove all the stuff away from there, bro. Yep. Yep. Oh, my God. All right, fellas. Hey. See you next filming. Yes, sir. I'll be here. I go nowhere. Eli's going nowhere. All right. So, uh, yeah, all of our stuff got stolen. Uh, I'm about to look on Facebook Marketplace right now and see if they got some drop cloths for sale. And maybe our drop cloths are listed for sale. We don't even have a drill. We can't put the other plate covers back on. Oh, boy. We got a, we got some problems. Yeah, I got Okay, good deal. <sighs> Still getting supplies. $58 in Harbor Freight. Trying to replace some of those drop cloths that were stolen. Who steals drop cloths? I just got to... Just gotta ask, who the, f who steals drop cloths? All right, 10 o'clock in the morning, we're getting that big unit done. After that, we got a clubhouse, we gotta tighten up, just a couple little touch-ups we gotta do in there. And we got one, two other units gonna be getting done today. And in terms of the deck job that I was 
talking about briefly this morning, I don't necessarily know that I can get to that. I am slammed, slammed for the rest of this week and definitely for next week, Labor Day. We got one, two, three, four, five units on Labor Day. We shouldn't even be working on Labor Day, but we are. Uh, properties don't care. And on Tuesday, we've got six units. And then on Wednesday, we've got two units. So earliest I could get to that, earliest I could get to that would be next week sometime. I don't know if that's gonna to be too late for this guy. He's gonna to wanna to get this thing done quick. I got a color match on it. Uh, I really just ain't looking forward to it. And it's a small little job that, I might. I, I should have just told him yesterday that after checking my schedule, I'm not gonna be available to do that job. I'm not good at communication. And I think a big part of that is because I'm constantly just on the go, 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 I always, find myself in a situation where I gotta try to explain myself out of it. But I need to be doing better about taking on too much work. And right now we've got a shit ton of work and I need to make sure that we're able to accommodate what we have and not overstretch ourselves. So long story short, the deck job, I probably just gotta put it on and just say, hey, look, we need to pass on that one. You got another painter, put him out there. Don't really wanna do it like that, but sometimes you gotta do it like that. So. I'm going to go check on another unit that we've got for today. I got one of my painters going to be going out there on that. Another painter who's not available today. Two painters who are not available today, actually. We're going to make do with what we can do today. We're going to get done what we got to get done today. Better way to word it. All right. Let's carry on and see where this day is going to take us. Uh, one other thing real quick. I know I keep harping on the fact that we had shit stolen from us yesterday or last night. When exactly did they go into this unit and steal this stuff? My painters didn't leave out of there till after 6.30. So somewhere between 6.30 and 7 o'clock this morning, this stuff was taken. And again, why would this type of stuff be taken? And by who would this type of stuff be taken? It had to be a competitor painter. Somebody potentially trying to sabotage us. Maybe it was kids who thought the shit was funny. You know, I checked all the cabinets in that unit. Like maybe they just went in there and thought it'd be a fun little prank to hide all of our stuff. But now it poses the situation that from now on, we need to be taking everything out of a unit, even if we don't get that unit completed. And that is a whole lot of extra bullshit work, just to be honest. All right, back up in the unit and she is almost done. Shout out to Eli up there, Eli's getting it in. All that trim, nice and white. A little bit of touch up, nothing major. This is not easy. This is as hard as it gets right here, a two story unit where the carpet is staying. It does not get any more difficult than a unit like this. Too bad we don't have any drop cloths. Well, I did go buy some new drop cloths actually. So totally invested for today. I've spent $300 on what was stolen from us. And that is gonna definitely eat into the bottom line. As we look at this unit, just absolutely marvelous. Great job, great work. So right now, as I'm sitting over here with these guys, I'm waiting to hear about uh, the deck. I have been in contact with the deck guy and not looking forward to the deck. I actually tried to put the deck off and say, hey, look, we're slammed, which I'm not lying about that, we're slammed. I can't get to the deck. The earliest I can get to it will be at the end of next week. The guy tells me, he says, hey, just go ahead and put me on the schedule. I'm like, oh man, oh man, we got to, oh man, we've got to clean that up. That is no, Bueno right there, boy. We got to clean that. You cannot spray sprinkler heads. Yikes. Ooh, I'm gonna make sure these guys get this cleaned up because this cannot have any paint on it whatsoever. That's a big, big no-no right there. It's like a small price to pay in comparison to the way that this unit looks and we can clean that up. We will clean that up. 
But like I said, I put the deck off. I said I can't get to it any earlier than the end of next week. I've got to go paint match because they don't know what the color is of the original deck stuff. So I've got to literally go take a piece of the deck off to get that color, get that paint matched. And if you want to go ahead and add insult to injury, this thing is in a gated community. So I have to wait for authorization to be able to get into this place. And I'm trying to go do that like right now, but I haven't heard anything back. So we may not be able to go check it out today. I said I really don't want to do this deck job, but it's looking more and more like we're going to end up doing it some kind of a way. Uh, one of my guys gave me a great idea, though. He said, hey, look, just go ahead and bid this thing pretty high. And I'm not going to bid it too high, but I am going to bid it at a price that makes it absolutely worthwhile for me. I'm going to take in everything that I have to factor with this job, paint matching, taking a piece of the deck apart to be able to paint match, getting into a gated community, the pain in the ass that that's going to be. Yeah, the first deck I bid at $22.50. And I lost on that deck. Now, ironically enough, here's some pictures of this latest deck. Not too much to it. What you're looking at is just the white PVC pieces that need to be painted. And there's really not a whole hell of a lot to that. I'm going to bid this next job at the exact same price. And if they don't like it, hey, uh, not much I can tell you about that, but... To be honest, a job that small should be bid at that particular price. And a job as big as the first one that we did it should have probably been double what I bid it at. But anyways, enough about all of that and all the chit chat. Hey, joke twice in one day. Yeah, hey, we're back. We are. We're leaving from the mall. Lunchtime, and my day is pretty much done. Uh, I got a chance to go check out that big two-story unit that we're getting wrapped up right now, and looking really good. I probably didn't make any money today, but that's okay. This week has been not too terrible on the profit line. Uh, yeah, today I definitely lost money, especially considering the fact that I had to spend $300 in materials that were stolen from us. I still cannot get over the fact that somebody stole drop cloths, paint brushes, roller naps, roller trays. It just doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And, you know, I've had this philosophy for a long time, and that is nobody am a drill. Nobody's going to steal any tools or work supplies, drop cloths for the umpteenth time. Nobody's gonna steal any of that type of stuff because don't nobody wanna work. Well, somebody most certainly wanted to work. Do you got your own tools and transportation? I sure do, I just went and stole them last night. I, I, I'm never gonna figure out what happened to our stuff, I, or at least I doubt that I will. But ah, ah. the fact of the matter is it's just gone. And it's stuff that I had to replace today that I didn't really want to replace. My bottom line today was negative $95. Tack on an additional $300 in supplies, almost negative $400 for the day. Now I know that that's horrendous. Some days you're, you're just not gonna be able to handle the curve balls that are thrown at you. And today most certainly was one of those walking into a unit and not even realizing at first that everything was gone and wouldn't realize that the stuff was stolen until one of my other guys showed up and said, hey, this shit is gone. Again, I wanna emphasize it's not one of my guys who did this. At least I don't think it is. Could it have been one of my guys? It couldn't have been. I hope it wasn't. Who else would have taken it? questions i don't have answers to uh but like i say my day is done it's about one o'clock in the afternoon i was gonna go try to meet the deck guy that just didn't work out hopefully we'll, he never responded to me hopefully we'll be able to meet tomorrow in this gated community and all that good jazz uh, my wife's going out of town she's going to go see her family i can't even go because we're so slammed with work i got to keep 
the business rocking and rolling. And the last time that we took a trip together, which was to Florida, all I did was work the entire time we were down there anyway. So it's best that I just stay back, watch the animals. Uh, I'm going to miss my wife. I'm going to miss my son. They're going to be gone till Labor Day. And we're going to be working our ass off on Labor Day as well. Haven't had a chance to go check on that drywall job that's in an occupied unit. That has to be coordinated with uh, time. I might be able to do that this afternoon. We'll see. I'll probably be done with the video. I'll definitely be done with this video. If anything does develop with that, I'll just have to share that with you guys tomorrow. It's my hope to be able to get back on these videos, get back on track. I miss filming. I miss Joe Does Stuff. I miss After Prison Show. I want to be filming, but I can't emphasize enough that I did go through quite a depressive little spell as of late. Why? Don't know. I think it had to do with the medication that I was taking, the Varelar, which I was back on, and I was back on it heavy. And it's an antipsychotic. It's not an antidepressant. Antidepressant. Matter of fact, I, th I think you're supposed to take an antisuppressant with it. My wife read up on it and said that it can cause depression. So I've been off of that now for a couple of days. I think I'm feeling better. But when I was depressed, I didn't want to do anything. Go to work, come home, go to sleep. Spend time with my son. That was the gist of it. Try to get out of that little depressive funk. And hopefully by doing so, get back onto the video kick. Somebody had made a comment. Wasn't a good comment to read when I was depressed neither, but I'll share it anyways. They said, it's over, Joe. Hang up the cameras. Man, when I was depressed, that comment could have rang any more true. But I'm picking myself up, carrying on, and trying like all, and you know, being in a situation also where the business sucks and you don't enjoy it, it doesn't help the depression neither and probably compounded that as well. But I'm trying to enjoy it again. Even in the midst of what we had to deal with today, getting shit stolen from us. Like, who the hell steals drop cloths? Doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for the day. Curious to know what all of you uh, have to say about this. Hope this was a video you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to look forward to sharing more with you just as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully I can get back on this video kick. Sure would like to. You guys have a great one. Thanks for allowing me to share. And until next time, take care.